We go behind the closely guarded walls of Scientology's celebrity headquarters, the place where Hollywood A-listers like John Travolta and Tom Cruise practice their controversial religion. And now, the church wants you. The world's leading Scientologists consider Australia a major battleground because of claims of serious abuse and criminal conduct, as well as a possible Senate inquiry. They're planning a massive blitz to fight back. Brian Seymour's travelled to Scientology's Celebrity Centre and its global headquarters in Florida to find out more. Today I am a god. You know, I don't know if you've noticed it or not, but it's pretty messed up out there. It's kind of a challenge to live on planet Earth. I see. Hello, you know, mate. Can I ask why you're filming people going into the conference? Thank you. Yes, I am, yeah. I'm, I'm a journalist from Australia. Take through my trash. Follow me to my taking my kids to school in the morning, following me to the grocery store. Um, so there's no shortage of the things that uh, the Scientology organization will do to silence their critics. Scientology is planning a major push in Australia. A new super centre will open mid-year, along with a publicity campaign to combat an avalanche of negative publicity. You've seen some of the stories we've reported on today, tonight? Yes, I have. Well, buddy, you've got it. Right here, right now. I'm angry. Real angry. Worldwide pattern of abuse. Oh, God, looking at human beings as assets. Scientology is not a religious organisation. <laughs> the art and practice of self-deception. Who sent you here to photograph us here today? Are you with the Church of Scientology? It's incredibly hard to live with. It is a criminal organisation that hides behind its so-called religious beliefs. I started working in an organization in Albuquerque, New Mexico at the age of nine. I got a worker's permit. You know, I actually don't hear much about anything like that, frankly. Grabbed me and threw me into the back seat of a car and, and sat on me and wouldn't let me, held my hands down and wouldn't let me, wouldn't let me go. This story is not about religion. It's about what people do in the name of religion. It's a test of faith, of sanity, and control. Because I gotta have faith. For more than two years, the Church of Scientology has refused to grant us an interview. When we came to Hollywood, we expected the same wall of silence to be thrown up. Then we got word. Scientology's international spokesman wanted to meet with us, show us around, and grant us an interview. You might remember him. His name is Tommy Davis. No, I'm not stopping no. here. You listen no. to me for a second. No. You're accusing members of my religion of engaging in brainwashing. No, Tommy, you stop. I'm fucking no, no, listen to me. You are not there. At the beginning of that interview. Australians know you, Tommy, obviously from this, this screaming tirade that you, you copped from John Sweeney sure. that he says was a result of being followed, harangued and harassed and browbeaten by you. What, what the hell well, happened then? How do you what, feel? What was, what have you felt browbeaten or harassed well, by no, me? Well, no, and <laughs> Has that might, been your experience? Well, no, and people might wonder if you've purposely avoided um, uh, it, uh, going me mm -hmm. uh, to, to, to present a very calm, relaxed... Um, yeah. This is what I'm saying. People might wonder sure. that when they juxtapose that. You did not hear or record Brain all of the interview with the Tommy I'm sitting in front sure. of. Yeah. Uh, are you a Jekyll and Hyde? No, I don't think so. What's been your because experience? I, well, I, well, I haven't seen that Tommy okay, good. today. I don't think you will. <laughs> but but, but that, will. that's kind of the Jekyll, isn't it? Well, that was a pretty unique situation. Almost as unique as the different versions of the truth about Scientology. But the truth is out there somewhere. Scientology said they'd help us to report it by graciously granting us exclusive access to some of their top celebrity adherents. Yeah, I think it's important to hear from people who actually are Scientologists and are practicing their religion. Practitioner number one is Tommy's mum, actress Ann Archer, famous for her role in Fatal Attraction. Wow, well, you know, I've been a Scientologist for about 31 years now, and um, I would say it's responsible for uh, 
creating a sane and happy life for me. Um, and Marisol Nichols, a favourite of fans of the hit TV show 24 and films like Vegas Vacation. I came into Scientology, um, still partying, doing drugs, that kind of thing. Uh, struggling actress, not happy. Very miserable, very single. I can answer that. Erica Christensen is a rising star who appeared alongside Michael Douglas in Traffic. I feel an intense sensation of being myself. And it's wonderful because the emotions that are not myself are all the ones that are not so awesome feeling, you know? What? What made you yell out that remark? I do what I feel like. And the most famous 10-year-old boy in the world who gives Scientology up to $10 million a year, Nancy Cartwright, the voice of Bart Simpson. Sounds good, sis. Just tell me what to do. Bada boom. I mean, it's like, wham, there you go. It was a new life for me. It was, well, not to get cross about it, but I just like, I... One of those things, finding a religion that you were started to embrace, meeting, meeting a, a guy and falling in love and then having a baby. And they all happened within such a short amount of time. And everything else has just been straight up for me. These lovely, talented performers are dedicated to Scientology. One of their key beliefs is the idea of past and future lives. Well, in Scientology, we believe that you come back. You As know? a human? Absolutely. Has to be a human being. Yeah, no, it's not like reincarnation. It's no, yeah. you, you okay. come back as a human being. Okay. Um, I've done it millions and millions of times before, mm -hmm. and I will continue to do that. Mm -hmm. I am immortal. Mm -hmm. You know, as, as a spiritual being, spirit never dies. I will never die. This body, this body is getting older. It's, as I'm sitting here in front of you, mm -hmm. that I will continue to go on. But as far as joining the Sea Org, I'm I'm doing my dream. Oh. Well, me personally, mm -hmm. um, I believe I will die and then I'll be reincarnated. I believe in reincarnation. There's, I know there's a lot of religions on, on this world that do too, so that's what I believe. Could you be reincarnated as a, a dolphin or a fly? <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know. I, haven't, I don't have enough, enough experience of going, oh yeah, I remember I died and I was this and I was, you know? So I don't know. I just believe that when I die, I will come back and I do live forever. Confused? Great. So was I. That's actually, that's a thing that's like personal to everyone. Okay. Because, you know, what if Fair you enough. thought that you were Cleopatra and I thought that I was Cleopatra? <laughs> that would be a problem. You'd be wrong. That's <laughs> yeah. right. Yeah. That We've got a problem. We've we got exactly. a problem. Okay. So who are you talking to now? Well, I'm talking to Brian. Yeah. I'm talking to you, Brian. And, 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 yeah. and what am I? In your eyes. In my eyes, you're a spiritual being. And, and you've so lived you before and you live again. Are you a spiritual being or are you talking to something else right now? Well, I'm just talking to you. Well, that's a relief. Is there a God in Scientology? There is no God in Scientology. L. Ron Hubbard is the source of everything. Why do they say there's a God? They li they're lying to you. Why? It's their way of pulling people in because it's all about money. Yeah, I believe in God. Have, describe God? Um, wow. Uh, well, I would say, for me, there's a really personal question. <laughs> well, it is, and you don't have to answer it. It's, um, we can move on if you don't want to answer it. It's entirely up to you. Yeah. Um, well, certainly, it's certainly not a test. Okay. No, I don't mind answering it. I think God, to me, though, is... is I believe that there is a power that I am striving for. Um... I think the best way to describe that would be to name that God, you know. And ideally, I would have to say that I am striving to be that God. Nancy Cartwright's been down under four times, and she's raring for another chance to raise the religion's profile here. I love Australia. With a possible Senate inquiry looming for Scientology, Australia is in their sights. Their new $20 million facility in Melbourne, called an Ideal Org, is designed to entice and inspire Aussies to reach for the stars.